Hi, Mom. All right, stand up and say hello to the folks. I want you to meet my mother. This is Dorothy. What are they doing? Paul, let her go. Release this woman. Uh, this is my mom, and she came all the way from uh, Indianapolis. Did you have a nice trip? Beautiful flight. And, and are people being nice to you? Very nice. Even the musicians? Even the musicians. Okay. <laughs> That's why Dorothy Me uh, uh, Mangering's first appearance on The Late Show with her son, David Letterman, back in 1986. 31 years later, very sad sign-off for one of Indiana's favorite moms. Overnight, we learned Letterman's mom had passed away. You likely know her as Dave's mom. Drew Blair has been looking back at her rise to stardom all morning long. It didn't take her long because everyone just fell in love That's with her. That's right. It was really easy to do that. <laughs> yes. And ladies, in just the last half hour, I heard back from David Letterman's publicist, and he provided me the obituary written by Letterman and his sisters, Jan and Gretchen. We have it posted right now in its entirety on wishtv.com. In it, the children write that Dorothy Mingreen died peacefully at home, and as she took her last breath, quoting now, a brilliant red cardinal landed on a branch outside her window singing his song. Dave's mom became a favorite fixture on her son's show, always saying, hi, David, at the beginning of her segments. She delivered top 10 lists from home in Indiana. She'd bake mystery pies and cook with big names like John Mellencamp. Compilations of her work are easy to find, like this one on YouTube. But this morning, I'm going deeper into the archives. The Wish TV basement is full of footage with Dave's mom. We helped provide the satellite shots that aired on The Late Show. You're going to hear more about that in just a minute. We sat down with her on many occasions, including when Letterman returned to work from his quintuple bypass heart surgery. Former Wish TV anchor Patty Spittler talked with Mingering then about the love the world shared for her son. I hope he knows and will will accept that now because he always kind of uh, put, shoves that aside. You know that that people love him. That that he's he's a much loved uh, person, and uh, so I hope now that this will show him that he really people really do love him. I, this one. Mm -hmm. Not the end. Patty. Yeah. Patty spent a lot of time with Mingreen. Here's a look back at another story she aired in 1996 when Dave's mom released a cookbook. It's called Home Cooking with Dave's Mom. Also new this hour, the obituary says a memorial service will take place at Second Presbyterian Church on North Meridian. Details on a day and time are still pending. Oh, my goodness. And you know what? She, her, the, the timing of her passing is incredibly, I guess, special almost in yeah, a way, it, and it's heart-wrenching at the same time. Another sad detail yeah. and element in all of this is today is David Letterman's 70th birthday, mm. so his mom passed away one day before he turned 70. Oh, my goodness. Our heart aches for them, mm -hmm. but what a gift she was for the Indianapolis community and, and for David to be able to spend time with his yeah. mom for so many years. It's been fun her. looking back at all those videos, yeah. and we have them all posted on wishtv.com right now, and you just, if you didn't watch, which so many of us did, Yes. You instantly fall in love yes. with her. She's smiling all the time. All very the sweet. time. And uh, Lauren, you're over there with someone who also has some first-hand accounts of her. Yeah, I mean, you think about it, the magic behind the television, right? I mean, how would people all over the country be able to see her from Indianapolis? Well, there were satellite shots. And one of our photojournalists, longtime photojournalists here long, at Wish TV, long. almost 30 years yeah. you've been here. Uh, talk about what you guys would actually do, because you'd go to her house and set up a satellite feed. We would bring in... The equipment we bring in you know we knock at the door first thing in the morning and it's like cameras cables engineering would be there they pull in cables we get things set up audio so she could actually hear the phone call with Dave when he would call and say you know you know he, he, you know, he, he would call beforehand you know hey mom you know, he would fall into this kid you know yeah being that son you know hey mom how you doing uh, these guys aren't bugging you are they you know yeah but, looking but then, after her. exactly but we would get there and she'd have these pies out and we'd have the cameras set up, we set up lighting, and, and we kind of tie up her house for a little bit. So let's talk about that, because one of the things that she was so famous for was being just really hospitable, right? And making all of this food and, you know, doing all these different pies. Were, Here were it is you Thanksgiving. A, an eater of oh, these pies? Well, yeah, <laughs> um, it, it was Thanksgiving, and this woman had already laid out all these pies, wow. you know? And because Dave would guess which pie. Right. Well, then after he guessed them, of course, we had a chance to eat them. Uh, but it was a situation where, you know, she was like everybody's grandma. Yeah. I mean, she was just, you know, do you want some tea? Do you want some coffee? She was very nice. She'd walk through. She'd talk to you. Just, and, and she'd wait for us to pull everything in, and she'd open the door, and we all get yeah. in there and mess up her house, and 
She was just just like everyone's grandma. What do you think people should know about her, even if they never were fortunate enough to meet her around Indianapolis? What you what you see on these videos is her. Yeah. Uh, how she was such an even. Uh, maybe Dave just wore her out after all so many years, <laughs> but her 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 upbeat. You know, she was a beautiful person. Yeah. You know, and she, she was a beautiful person to talk to, and just be around. I mean, mm. it was very honest, sincere woman. Everybody's grandma. Everybody's grandma. All right, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus, he's a good friend here at Wish TV. Uh, our coverage of Dorothy Mangreen's passing continues right now at wishtv.com. We dug through our archives overnight, as Drew was mentioning, and we posted some of those great stories that we've done with her online for you. Again, Dave's mom, Dorothy Mangreen, uh, has died at 95 years old. Very special lady. Marcus, thanks for that perspective.